Hey everyone, I'm heading to Apple Store here at Orchard Road, Singapore to collect the new iPad Pro 2021. And while I'm on the way there, I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on this new tablet. If you're looking for justification as to whether or not it's worth your money, um, you don't need anyone else's justification because it's your money. If you're thinking of upgrading, personally, I don't think it's worth upgrading to. Whether it's worth upgrading to is obviously very subjective. You really have to ask yourself whether or not you have been limited by the iPad Pro's hardware. Ask yourself the question, is getting the new tablet going to improve your workflow? Is getting the tablet going to help you create more work? Personally, for me, I'm all about work, so when it comes to technology, there are only two things you should take note of. Is it going to help you save time? Is it going to help you save money? And I have actually pre-ordered this iPad Pro three times, and I cancelled all three times, and today I decided to, um, well, I'll just come down and buy it because I'm running a YouTube channel. Um, I like to review stuff. If I'm not running this YouTube channel, if I don't make money online, I won't be upgrading because the model from 2018, that's still a fantastic iPad Pro. That's the model that I have been using for the past two years and the hardware specs is fantastic. However, I have always been disappointed because, not in the hardware, I'm not disappointed with the hardware, but I'm disappointed because I have never been able to push the iPad Pro to its limits. Which is why if you're thinking of upgrading, you really have to ask yourself, is the new tablet going to help you save more time, save money, or create more work? By the way, if you guys have any questions regarding the new iPad Pro, let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer your questions in the full review. So the Pro in the iPad Pro um, actually is just for marketing. It doesn't mean that it's for professionals because obviously you can use other iPads for professional work as well. I've always wondered about those video creators who switch to using the iPad Pro to edit their videos. Um, is it really the best device to use to edit videos? I know for a fact that I am able to edit videos like way faster using a Mac. Even a Mac from 2015, a Mac that is like five years older compared to the new iPad Pro. Anyway, I'll talk more about video editing workflow in the full review. So this is the Apple Store. There are three Apple Stores in Singapore. This is the one at Orchard Road, the shopping district in Singapore. All right, let's head in because I'm sweating like crazy here. So this is inside the Apple Store and there are many people here today, this morning. And that's my iPad Pro in the back, so I'm going to head back. If this is your first time buying an iPad, do know that iPad OS has quite a lot of restrictions. So the other day I was just trying to open a video file inside the files app and I wasn't able to open the video file. So that to me is quite ridiculous. The workaround for that is to transfer that file to some other video playing app and that's just one extra step. So there are a lot of uh, unnecessary extra steps that you have to be aware of if you want to get the iPad. And you really have to do research because if this is the first time you are using the iPad Pro, uh, many of these things will not be very obvious to first timers. There are a lot of other things I want to talk about, uh, especially regarding iPad OS. I mean, for the hardware specifications, the new HDR Mini LED display, M1 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, all those hardware specs, you can read about it or watch YouTube videos uh, to find out what they are capable of. Um, for my review, I just want to let you guys know how 
it feels like to actually use the iPad Pro for visual creative work. So if you guys have any things you want me to test, let me know in the comment section below. So that's it for this video. Um, yeah, see you guys in the full review.